Good evening, Rabbi Tai. We have today uh, Yom Tzom, Tzom Gedalia, and uh, everybody's asking always, you know, after the Tzom, when can we eat, you know, or whatever. So the truth is that uh, we have in the Luchot over here, in the charts, that they publicize the calendars, it says over there something a little bit later, like 32 minutes after the sun goes down, you know. But according to Maran, according to our custom, Maran Rabbi Yom he writes 20 minutes after the Tzom, you can already eat. Not Yom Kippur, but all the other Tzomot, right? We have all the other Tzomot. All the Tzomot, they're all the Rabbanan. The only Tzom, the only Ta'anit, which is from the Torah, is, Rabbi, is, is uh, Yom Kippur. So in Yom Kippur, it's proper to keep Rabbeinu Tam, 72 minutes after Shkia. You know, that's the problem, according to Maran. That's the way it is. Why? Because there's only two, there's only two opinions about when the night comes. There's the Geonim, and then there's the Rabbeinu Tam. What do the Geonim say? 13 and a half minutes after Shkia, after the sun goes down, it's already night. So we add a few minutes just to make sure, you know, because there's some, some doubts. Seasonal. So that's why, right, exactly. Seasonal, all kinds of things. Shouts maniot, all kinds of things. So therefore, we do 20 minutes even, right? Even Stephen. 20 minutes. So therefore, today, the sun goes down at what? Uh, 6.52. So therefore, already... Right, seven twelve. You can eat already. Seven twelve. This is the this is the halacha. Seven o'clock. You know what I mean? Uh, seven o'clock. Shkia. Shkia. Mistake. So no, no good. Mistake. You got a bad luach there. You got to get a good one. So it's a, o'clock seven o'clock was last week. Nice. <laughs> 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 Doesn't matter. Anyway, right. Uh, so that's that's what it is. You know. So according to according to the Geonim, so when it's the Rabbanan, when the Tzom is the Rabbanan, like all the other Tzomot, all the other Taniyot, they're all the Rabbanan, they're all from the Rabbi, so therefore we, 20 minutes after Shkia, we already, it's already night, according to the Geonim, so therefore we're allowed to eat 7.12 today, even 7.10, but, but when it comes to Yom Kippur, since it's from the Torah, so we have to keep the other opinion, which is Rabbin Tam, you know, 72 minutes, so if a person can keep Rabbin Tam after Yom Kippur, he should try to keep 72 minutes, that's the proper thing to do, unless... He's sick, you know, he's uh, right, uh, weak or something, you know. He has some problems, he's older a little bit, whatever. So a person like that, you know, who has problems, you know, with issues with the health, uh, you know, and he can't wait till Rabbi Nutan, so he can do, again, 20 minutes after Shkia, right? Even on Yom Kippur. Because this is the halacha, according to Gonim, 20 minutes is enough. This is, this, is the, this is the way it goes. So therefore, the truth is, I want to tell you, right, that the custom is the Min is in Eretz Israel, Okay? Over there, when they have Yom Tzom, you know, like Tzom Gedalia or whatever, right? Yud Zayn Tammuz. After Mincha, they don't do Divir Torah. No Divir Torah, like you said, right? Make it short. Sure. This is the proper thing to do. Why? Because you're making, people are hungry. They want to go eat already. What do you mean to give them now Divir Torah? What do you want to do? They should drop and faint on the Shadda Sanyam? You know, they don't be happy? Oh, okay. Chazak Baruch. You fainted. You know, <laughs> there's no, <laughs> there's no, there's no uh, right, reason to make people faint. I remember one time, you know, I was in one of the shuls over here. And, uh, you know, we had some kind of a tzom. It was Yud Sain Tammuz or something, whatever. I don't want to mention the name, which shul it was. It's close by here. You know, so the rabbi, all of a sudden, you know, after the after the Yom Mincha, he starts doing Diver Torah, you know, like 45 minutes, you know. You know, and people are hungry. I'm also hungry myself, you know. I'm not a young man like you anymore, you know. I'm a little bit older already. I got to eat, you know. So, you know, uh, I, I couldn't wait. You know, so I told him, I'm sorry, excuse me, I said, but now all of a sudden we decided to get into the, you know, big, big shiur, you know, big darash. Uh, after the, people, when they get hungry, they want to go eat already. What the, why are you making them wait? What, what, what? You, you want to kill somebody maybe? You're interested, you know? Uh, the truth is, you know, that I always tell people this story. I'll tell you something really, you know, you know it's really sad. Uh, when, when I was in Eretz Israel, Manan, he told us a story about this whole thing, you know? Which was that, you know, in, in, uh, in Yerushalayim, there's a synagogue called Borokhov. In the Bukharian quarter. You ever been to this place? Borokhov? There's a synagogue over there in the Bukharian neighborhood. Rare. So it's in the Bukharian neighborhood in Yushalayim. <laughs> over there, you know, there is a, there is a, what do you call it? Um, they have a good library there, you know, so the rabbi used to go and pray there, you know, he was there. <clears throat> there were a lot of books, Baruch Hashem. So what happened was that, uh, why is it called Borokhov, this place? Because the, the, the founding people who founded the shul are called Borokhov. So the, the president over there, the Gabai, his name was Yoni Borokhov. You know, this was a long time ago. 
60, 70 years ago, you know, something like that, you understand? So this guy, you know, he gets sick, you know, he has a heart condition, whatever. So a doctor tells him, you know, you can't fast on Yom Kippur, you know, patur, you can't, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're in danger. I mean, person who's sick, you know, doctor tells him, you can't fast on Yom Kippur, he's not allowed to fast. I mean, what do you want to do? Put your life in danger? You're not supposed to do that for Yom Kippur. You know what I mean? So the doctor told him, don't fast on Yom Kippur, eat. So this guy, right, Yoni Yaborokhov, he comes to the rabbi, Maram. he was, you know, standing over there in that shul. He tells him, he says, Rabbi, he says, the doctor told me, he says, Yom Kippur, I should eat. He says, I never did this in my life, you know, to eat on Yom Kippur. He says, Chas Shalom, how can I do such a thing like this? You know what I mean? So the rabbi told him, you know, Maram, Rabbi, he told him, listen to the doctor, he told him, do whatever he says, you know. If he tells you to eat, don't don't be a wise guy, you know. Listen to what your doctor tells you. So what does this guy do? You know, he wants to be a hero, you know, give up, give up, you know. So he doesn't eat, you know, he wants to fast on young people. He's sick. You know? So what happened? Guess what happened, right? In the middle of Yom Kippur, sometime there, you know, he faints on the floor, falls on the floor, just, you know. Nafal. Bring the ambulance, you know, bring the ticket to the hospital. What do they do? He's dead. Died, you know? Wow. Can you imagine? On Yom Kippur, he died because the doctor told him not to fast, and he's fasting anyway, you know. Don't be a gibor like this. Don't. If the doctor tells you, patur, you're patur. So don't don't give your life away, you know, for, for crazy things, you know. There are some people who have all kinds of conditions. They can't fast. What can you do, you know? There are rules about this, you know, how to do it, by the way. You have to drink a little bit, you know, at a time, not too much. Eat a little bit, you know, a little bit at a time. There are rules about that. We don't have time now to get into it. Maybe I'll tell you a little bit, you know. The, the point is like this, you know, that every time you, if, if, if a person is allowed to eat on Yom Kippur, we tell him, as you know, do right like shiurim, you know, like every time eat 30 grams, you know, and then wait 10 minutes. Eat another 30 grams. This way, you're not going on Isu Karet on Yom Kippur. And also, you know, to drink, you know, we tell them, like, you know, drink like two ounces and then wait 10 minutes, you know, wait, wait a little bit and then drink another two ounces. Wait a little bit, another, don't drink together because you'll be over on Karet this way, you know. Isu Karet, you get cut off. So, if a person can do that, he should do it that way. But if the doctor tells him, that's not enough for you. You know, you got to drink more and eat more. Not enough to eat 30 grams. You got to do more. So, listen to the doctor then. You got to listen to the doctor. Whatever the doctor tells you, that's what you got to do, you know. So, this is the way it is. Um, so, a person has to be careful, you know. Do everything with chokhmah. Baruch Adonai Le'olam. Amen ve'amen. Chazak u'baruch.